guys, it is time to tackle the kitchen. <gasps> this is going to be the biggest and most extensive part of this DIY, I believe, because it is the most amount of cabinetry. But just because it is going to be time consuming doesn't mean it's going to be difficult per se. And even if it is difficult, I can handle it. I am a grown woman and I can do things on my own. And that is what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to start priming. Well, first I have to take all the doors off, all that jazz that you saw in the past couple of videos. All the doors have to come off and then I'm going to prime in here. Um, I'm gonna do some taping as well. I'm ready to get going in this. I'm hoping that today I can kind of just kick out all the primer and be done with it. So without further ado, here is the beginning of the kitchen renovations. like nothing in here that looks like wood anymore once I did this last section everything just kind of popped and it looks really really nice I'm super happy with it so this has all been primed the stuff behind you has been primed and now I'm going to start with the color we're doing the same color as we did for the office desk stuff without further ado it is time to get color in the final stage it is weird how it's coming together there's still like some things to do but this is like the last big thing so i'm very very excited and i couldn't wait to get out here today so now here i am in my paint clothes again my trusty paint shirt and i'm gonna start in this corner and work my way over just like i did yesterday with the primer looking very nice um, but I had a decision to make today which I have clearly made I've been trying to cover that wallpaper up in every other section of the RV but here I bought some tiles and I'm gonna put them up but I only wanted run one row so I didn't know what to do with the rest of the paper and I asked both my parents and they're basically like just paint it or you know do a solid color so 
I primed it already and I'm gonna go in with white paint. This will be the only thing that I'm painting white in this RV. <laughs> I primed it already and that really helped to get rid of the flowers. You can see where I didn't prime. I didn't prime down th that side of the wall because it's just gonna get t covered with tile anyway. It'll kind of bring everything together considering that the microwave and the vent hood are both white. So let's get painting white, shall we? <laughs> It is taking everything in my body to get myself to paint these doors right now. I really, really don't want to. But on the bright side, which is how I tend to look at things, once I'm done with these doors, I'm officially done painting, like, for good for the RV, which is nice. I'm gonna just crank up some music, put my paint clothes on for hopefully the last time. I'm sick of wearing the paint clothes, but they need a good wash after this. All right then, I guess I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and then put the contact paper that I bought for the kitchen onto the countertops. I know that contact paper is not meant for countertops. I made the conscious decision to put contact paper on my kitchen counter. It's a very thick paper. That doesn't really matter in terms of, I'm not gonna be putting anything hot on it. I have plenty of trivets. I have plenty of those little cork things, um, coasters if you will. And I know the risks. I will always use a cutting board and I'll always use trivets and that is what I'm planning to do. So I'm putting contact paper because it's a cheap and easy solution and I really like how it looks. I want everything to look kind of the same. I'm going to put the concrete looking contact paper on the kitchen. paper to say the least I'm obsessed uh, I'm obsessed it looks so good look at this it's like a brand new countertop it is insane I wrapped it all the way around the edges so that it would look like it was an actual concrete slab just take it all in just look at it with the white wall in the background oh my gosh it looks so good this may or may not be the favorite thing I've done in the RV so far. It's transformative. It looks completely different. So modern and so nice. It is amazing what a little bit of contact paper can do. I tell you guys what. This looks really freaking nice. Okay, bye. Hello, you guys. I have officially finished painting. I figured I would try to replace the faucet in my sink. I don't know, it was just sitting on the couch. I want it out of the way, I want to get it done. And now that I'm done painting, I can actually replace it. I figured how hard can it be? I've never done this before, um, but I have directions. Um, we'll see if that actually is how it goes, but I want to show you guys that if you're like me, if you're young, if you've never done anything before, you can probably figure it out. <laughs> like I can probably figure this out. And if not, it's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna try to do it by myself and we'll see what happens. So I will show you guys the faucet that I bought. Here is the faucet. 
It was on sale at Menards. This is the old faucet here. It's fine. It just isn't very tall and it doesn't allow for good like dishes room so this is what I'm replacing and also I have absolutely no water hooked up right now so it's not like I'm going to leak all over the place I'm not nervous but I'm apprehensive I just need to make sure I'm following the directions correctly and we'll figure it out so let's try to install a sink faucet by myself for the first time go. Yay! So the deck plate goes on here. I'll go through this one hole. That. I uh, totally left you guys hanging there with the sink. <laughs> I didn't finish that for some reason. So let me give you a final reveal. 